No, 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 no. no, no, no. Okay, you're such a big boy. Look at you. Are you ready to do Manishtana? Yay. Ready? Go ahead. Yay. Start. Yay. start. And if God didn't take us out of Mitzrayim, we, our children, our grandchildren, would still be slaves to Mitzrayim. <laughs> Even if we know everything about the story, we have to tell the whole story. And as much as we can do, the longer and the more we can do it, the better. The, the, the Haggadah at least says, Baruch HaMakom Baruch Baruch Okay. 
Okay, so now we have the, the Haggadah does something very interesting here. We're going to talk about four different types of children. And why would I better talk about four different types of children? So I've prepared here a little bit of a handout. You can pass around this side. And pass around this side. Okay. Pass it each family, because I don't know if I have enough for everybody. You show me. Ari, 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 Ari had a question about the wine. Ask Dina. Dina, answer her question. What's the question? Ari has a question. Why Why are we leaving the wine and we're not drinking? So why we so long ago? Oh. It's a good question. I know, because it's like teasing us, but it's right there. The answer is? We don't know. No, there's an answer. Okay, I'm sure there the is. The answer is, you ready? When Avram Avinu was told to do a korban for Mitzchak, it says, it says, Vayachavosh et Atono. He got up very early in the morning and, and put the, everything on the, on the donkey to make it happen quickly. Because we say when we're doing a mitzvah, so the minute we have a mitzvah to do, even if we're not going to do it exactly at this minute, we want to be prepared for it. So the first thing we do to get ready for the second cup of wine is to pour it, even though we're not going to drink it. Very, very, very good question. Okay. Just the reason why I put this together, I think it's very fascinating. That um, no, it's fine, it's fine. No, it's fine, it's fine. It's okay. Of, of course. Um, the four sons, if the whole purpose of the Haggadah is to discuss uh, keeping the children and passing the trans passing the, the tradition, what I find fascinating is they talk about the four different types of kids. And as anybody who has kids know, okay, you have different types of kids. And you, they come from the same parents and they're completely, completely different. And what I, th what I think is so interesting is that throughout Jewish history, nothing changes. There were always kids that were tzaddikim, and there were always kids that weren't sure, and there were always kids that gave difficulty or raised difficult questions. And you can see throughout Jewish history how the images change. So you write a modern image of some Israeli kids. And look, the Russia's always mean. He's got eyes and he's got his hands up. In the 1920s on the top, who's the Russia? Russia's the guy who's the boxer, the right? The Biryon, all right? If you look down on the bottom left, who's the Russia? I know the A's of me. What did he say? What did he say it is? He said it's the guy with the, the, guy with the sword. Is, is, is he an executioner or just no, 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 a fighter? No, 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 just a fighter. Soldier. Just a fighter. Okay. So what do we learn from this? We learn many things, okay? But we learn, first of all, we learn, first of all, that there are many types of different Jews and uh, they all come from us and they continue throughout the generations, even wicked Jews, okay, are still Yehudim, Tovim, Benechmadim. However, yes. I would like to point out that the Tom here is the fat, jolly man. Yeah. With the, the upper left. So, um, upper left. As Passover customs and ceremonies, the rules and rites which God has commanded, you would explain to him all the traditions of Pesach down to the last detail of the Afrikaner. Okay, now, I hated it every year of my life when I was asked to be the Russia, or my father would say, oh, Ari, you read the Russia. Do you remember doing that to me? Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to ask you to do it, okay? So I will continue Keep to be on. the Russia. Russia, ma vomer ma vodazod lachem. Lachem bololo. What is this, what is all this baloney that you're doing, okay? For them, but not for him. And since he took himself out of the community, what does the what does the what does Chazal say? Punch his teeth in. Punch his teeth in. Wrong. That's not the translation. Hakeh means to to blunt. 
Lehakot. Blunt, yeah, no, but hake is to is la, 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 is to make lighter or to blunt. Okay? Like to whiten your teeth? Like right. Afata morlo bavur zeh, and you point to the matzah and the mora and everything, and you say to him, Bavur zeh sal nayli b'seid mi b'sayim, leave it all low, ilu hua yasham lo e nigal. Now I ask you a question. If the whole purpose of the Seder is to include all the children, Okay, and have them learn about matzah and moror and Yitzhiat Mitzrayim 3,332 years ago, then how could we say this to the Russia? Aren't we pushing a kid away who's not, who's not so happy about it? I mean, after all, now this is something that I, I thought about this year. He's at the table. He came to the Seder. Okay? So if the Russia came to the Seder, he's obviously not... Quite as bad as we're portraying him. Unless his parents. Why do we have him to begin with? Well, because that's because, because it's not that's, 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 that's he's evil. He's the artistic one. He's the one who doesn't understand. Maybe well, the no. 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 Updated since then mm-hmm. for a modern <laughs> generation of Jews. Yeah. <laughs> could be. Yes, like, it could be. Just like you said, you didn't understand the Russian until now. Right, so I'll say one more thing, one more thing, and then we can continue with the rest. And that is really very interesting because the Tom, the simple one, of the Yodei Lashol, are sort of. A tam v'she'enu yodei l'shol avi alani yisbir l'chamani wotzei l'agi l'shol. Yesh arba banim, okay? As Chacham v'Rasha yodim. Tam v'she'enu yodei l'shol shnei sugim shon l'shim pshutim. זה מול זה, אבל הרשע והחכם הם אחד מול השני. ואפילו ש, ששומעים את השאלה של הרשע, הוא, הוא שאלה עמוקה, מה העבודה הזאת לכם? אה, הוא הוציא את עצמנו, הוא כפר בעיקר, הוא כבר, הוא כבר אמר, יש עקרונות ביהדות שאני לא מאמין בהם, אבל מה אנחנו רואים מזה? כדי להיות רשע טובה, אתה צריך להיות חכם. אז ההבדל בין חכם ורשע לא כל כך רחוק כאילו. אז אם נוכל להכות את שיניו, לעגל קצת את החוד של הקושי של הבן אדם ולנסות לקרב אותם, אז אין לנו רשע אלא יש לנו רק חכם. אוקיי, אני חייב לדבר על 